Do you have trouble sleeping? Falling asleep, staying asleep, waking up in the morning? One thing I have found that helps me get to sleep and stay asleep longer is listening and specifically I listen to the Word of God. This week I'm going to be listening to names of God. There are over 600 names of God in the King James Bible. I chose seven of them to go over and talk about what they mean. So let's dive right in. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. This is used in Genesis chapter 22, verse 14, and it says, And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. You know, when we need, are in need of anything, we can remember that God is our provider. He is our Jehovah Jireh. Just as he provided a ram for Abraham when he was getting ready to sacrifice his son Isaac, he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. That's from Philippians 4.19. Trust in his provision and lean on his promises. The name for God, El Shaddai, is used in Genesis 17.1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am Almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. You can also think, I am Almighty God, El Shaddai. Walk before me and be blameless. Our God, he is all-powerful and he is all-sufficient. In times of weakness, when we feel like we can't do it, His strength, it, it is made perfect in us. And we're promised that, we're told that in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. We can embrace the might of El Shaddai, the Almighty God, who holds everything in His hands. Another name of God, Elohim, the Creator. In Genesis 1.1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That verse, in the beginning, God created, Elohim created. Our God, our almighty God, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, Elohim, the creator. He is the creator of heaven and earth. Just think about that. Think about the power of God as the creator. We are wonderfully and fearfully made. Psalm 139 verse 14, it tells us that. Let us see God as Elohim, the creator, the God of creation. Lord, help us and still reverence and gratitude for you and your beautiful earth in us. Adonai. Psalm chapter 8 verse 1 says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Adonai, Adonai, how excellent is your name in all the earth. When we acknowledge God as Adonai, the Lord and Master of all, we just can surrender every area, everything in our life to Him. As you submit, Remember that his waves are higher than our ways and his plans are greater than our plans. That's from Isaiah 55 verse 9. He is Adonai, Lord and Master. Yahweh Rapha, the Lord who heals. From Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. I am the Lord who heals you. When we're sick, we sure do want someone to heal us. And our God, Yahweh Rapha, heals us. When we're sick, we can call upon Yahweh Rapha, the God who heals. We can trust in his promises of restoration, and we can remember that by his stripes, we are healed. That's from Isaiah 53, verse 5. Lord, help us to seek your healing touch in our body and in our soul. We thank you 
in advance for the work that you do in us each and every day. The Lord is peace, Yahweh Shalom. From Judges chapter 6, verse 24. So Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, The Lord is peace. So Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, Yahweh Shalom. Life is full of chaos, but we can find peace in Yahweh Shalom. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus promises us his peace. He says, my peace I leave with you. We can let go of anxiety and trust in that tranquility that comes from resting in the presence of the Lord. Lord, help us to rest in you and give us a peace that surpasses all of our understanding. We thank you for your peace. Yahweh Nisai, also pronounced Nisi. The Lord is my banner. From Exodus chapter 17, verse 15. And Moses built an altar and called its name, The Lord is my banner, Yahweh Nisi. We all have battles. We all have spiritual battles. We can raise the banner of Yahweh Nisi. God is our victory, and the battle belongs to him. He's our victory and our stronghold from Psalm 18, verse 2. You can stand firm in the assurance that with the Lord as your banner, you are more than a conqueror. Romans 8, verse 37. Lord, we thank you that you are our banner, that the battle does belong to you. Help us to release the battle into your hands. The Lord has many names that we call him, and they describe attributes of him, from El Shaddai to Adonai to Jehovah Jireh, and many, many more. But God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I hope that this has been helpful, that this has been encouraging. Make sure you subscribe. Be blessed.